Good afternoon, Team Ramstein. I'm Technical Sergeant Joshua Venegas, an instructor from the Ramstein Airman Leadership School. On behalf of the Commandant, Master Sergeant Kendrick Burden, and our host, the Commander, 435th Air Ground Operations Wing, Colonel Daniel C. Clayton, welcome to the Ramstein Airman Leadership School's virtual graduation ceremony for Class 2021-3. We are pleased to bring you an event that everyone can attend safely from their homes. The mission of the Airman Leadership School program is to prepare airmen and guardians to be professional warfighting airmen and space professionals who can supervise and lead Air Force work teams to support the employment of air and space power. The students received 192 hours of comprehensive instruction and four outcomes, mission, leadership, problem solving, and Air Force culture. They will be using this knowledge to further our country's vision of democracy, freedom, and peace. We would like to recognize all the directors, commanders, chief master sergeants, first sergeants, supervisors, mentors, family, and friends of our graduates who have extended their support throughout the course. It is your understanding sacrifice, and patience that has allowed your members to make it thus far. Thank you for viewing today's ceremony. And finally, today's event would not be possible without the sacrifices of the brave airmen who have fallen in combat, those that are currently defending our freedom around the world, and the support of their families. At this time, we will hear a few motivational words from our Commandant, Master Sergeant Kendrick Burden. Class 2021-3, uh, you guys have come to a huge, the end of a huge milestone in your careers, your first level of EPME. And as a commandant, I just like to say that it's been a pleasure to serve you. It's been a pleasure to come in and out of your virtual classrooms and to have discussions. Met a lot of people from my hometown, which was which was awesome. Uh, but more than that, we had to we had the opportunity to be able to uh, meet and greet uh, each other. And uh, it's my hope and my desire that uh, not only our engagement, but your engagement with e each and every one of your instructors was value added. Uh, that the things that were taught, the lesson concepts and principles that uh, you were presented with will stick with you. Maybe not all of them but that when you leave here today, when you graduate, you'll take something away that will serve you well into the future. Before I uh, end this message and allow you to uh, continue on with the rest of this graduation video, I'd like to present to you something that uh, we can kind of take from nature as far as, it, it's our, as far as teamwork and leadership goes. All of us have taken a look in the sky and we've seen birds that fly in V formation. I didn't realize up until recently that the reason why they fly in V formation is because it allows them to create lift and that lift creates them, gives them the ability to be able to fly further, longer and with less effort. And so one thing that I want you all to take away is that leadership is not a, a do, it, do it alone sport. It's a team effort and we all have to be going in the same direction. We all have to be moving in the same direction and that effort that we put into it together helps to give us lift, our own lift. And when you do it together, you're going to be able to do it better, more effectively and more efficiently. So please take that with you. And uh, as we close up today's ceremony, um, continue to stay awesome and continue to drive with excellence. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Burden. When the students of class 2021-3 logged into their Zoom meeting rooms on the 22nd of February, they took the first steps on a new path in their Air and Space Force careers as supervisors and non-commissioned officers. Today, we return them to duty, focused and ready for their responsibilities. The mere fact that these 78 Air and Space professionals are graduating today indicates that they have achieved success. And now, the moment all the students have been waiting for. The diplomas announced today represent five weeks of hard work and dedication. The names that you are about to hear belong to the Air and Space Force's newest first-line supervisors. Starting with Defender Flight, as each graduate is called, please show your support by commenting below. The graduates of Defender Flight, instructed by myself, will now be announced. 
from the 86th Communication Squadron Senior Airman Colin Daniels IV. From the 603rd Air Operations Center, Senior Airman Jessica Desper. From the 21st Operational Weather Squadron, Senior Airman Chylan Factuar. From the 86th Aeromedical Evacuation Squadron, Staff Sergeant Craig Foley. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Staff Sergeant Kenneth Heath. From the 693rd Intelligence Support Squadron, Staff Sergeant Michelle Herrig. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Luz Maria de Jesus. From the 693rd Intelligence Support Squadron, Staff Sergeant Brandon Kissler. From the 86th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Senior Airman Ethan McFarland. From the 86th Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Stephen O. From the 569th United States Forces Police Squadron, Staff Sergeant Carla Solano Sanchez. From the 86th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Staff Sergeant Braden Schumacher. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Cortavius Stepney. From the 721st Mobility Support Squadron, Staff Sergeant Anthony Vaughn. From the 86th Vehicle Readiness Squadron, Staff Sergeant Sean Austin Zagata. Ladies and gentlemen, Defender Flight. The graduates of Freedom Flight, instructed by Technical Sergeant Gregory Foster, will now be announced. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Hunter Birch. From the 424th Air Base Squadron, Staff Sergeant Evan Broaden. From the 86th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Senior Airman Kaylee Brenizer. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Staff Sergeant Jeffrey Canella. From the 693rd Intelligence Support Squadron, Staff Sergeant Alec Dow Quintero. From the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Joseph Green. From the 721st Mission Support Squadron, Sergeant Austin James. From the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Timothy Lee. From the 450th Intelligence Squadron, Senior Airman Christopher Matt. From the 700th Contracting Squadron, Staff Sergeant Darius Miller. From the 7th Weathering Squadron, Senior Airman Cheyenne Morris Davidson. From the 435th Security Forces Squadron, Senior Airman Caitlin Page. From the 86th Healthcare Operations Squadron, Staff Sergeant Allison Marie Pascal. From the 725th Air Mobility Squadron, Staff Sergeant Robert Peppers Jr. From the 603rd Air Operations Center, Staff Sergeant Zachary Schofield. From the 521st Air Mobility Operations Wing, Senior Airman Jason White. Ladies and gentlemen, Freedom Flight. The graduates of Guardian Flight, instructed by Staff Sergeant Sierra Engel, will now be announced. From the 37th Airlift Squadron, Staff Sergeant Christopher Carmody. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Staff Sergeant Zachary Cozart. From the 786 Force Support Squadron, Senior Airman Dominic Diogardi. From the 86 Operation Support Squadron, Senior Airman Tony Dow. From the 86 Logistics Readiness Squadron, Senior Airman Samantha Frisbee. From the 691st Communications Operation Squadron, Staff Sergeant Samuel Green. From the 569th United States Forces Police Squadron, Staff Sergeant Caden Hawkins. From the 21st Operational Weather Squadron, Senior Airman Riley Jaramillo. From the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Nathan Lopez. From the 485th Intelligence Squadron, Staff Sergeant Matthew Murphy. From the 603rd Air Operations Center, Staff Sergeant Casey Otto Smith. From the 86th Medical Squadron, Senior Airman China Rosales. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Kenneth Saunders. From the Headquarters United States Air Forces Europe Air Forces Africa A6, Senior Airman Caleb Tramick. From the 786th Civil Engineer Squadron, Staff Sergeant Dustin Vest. 
from the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron Senior Airman Ryan Watson. Ladies and gentlemen, Guardian Flight. The graduates of Sentry Flight, instructed by Staff Sergeant Philip Zavala, will now be announced. From the 86th Material Maintenance Squadron Senior Airman Amijah Alexander. From the 24th Intelligence Squadron Staff Sergeant Hansel Ayala Munoz. From the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron Staff Sergeant Brandon Barrick. From the 786th Force Support Squadron Senior Airman Mirta Calvo. From the 603rd Air Communication Squadron, Staff Sergeant Romaine Daly. From the 786th Civil Engineer Squadron, Staff Sergeant Taylor Dawson. From the 1st Air and Space Communications Operation Squadron, Staff Sergeant John Gale. From the 86th Security Forces Squadron, Staff Sergeant Haley Krittner. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Terrence Kruger. From the 424th Air Base Squadron, Staff Sergeant Cordell Landry. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Senior Airman Matthew Marcus. From the 86th Communication Squadron, Sergeant Exal Sanchez Baena. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Staff Sergeant Dennis Scott. From the 86th Operations Medical Readiness Squadron, Staff Sergeant Chris Ann Shamble. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Staff Sergeant Tyler Summerfield. From the 603rd Air Operations Center, Staff Sergeant Angela Tarr. Ladies and gentlemen, Sentry Flight. The graduates of Warrior Flight, instructed by Staff Sergeant George Lennon, will now be announced. From the 86th Operations Support Squadron, Senior Airman Don J. Crockett. From the 786th Civil Engineer Squadron, Staff Sergeant Justin Hewitt. From the 86th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Ariel Hauser. From the 721st Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Dakota Johnson. From the 435th Contingency Response Squadron, Senior Airman Vanya Laguna Gibson. From the 21st Operational Weather Squadron, Senior Airman Thomas Maggio, Jr. From the 86th Comptroller Squadron, Staff Sergeant Nathaniel Jad Mercado. From the 1st Combat Communication Squadron, Staff Sergeant Jonathan Puzer. From the 496th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Staff Sergeant Christopher Singh. From the 86th Communication Squadron, Senior Airman Adrian Sotomayor. From the 86th Operational Medical Readiness Squadron, Staff Sergeant Courtney Tankos. From the 37th Airlift Squadron, Senior Airman Vincent Thurlman. From the 24th Intelligence Squadron, Senior Airman Charo Camille Torres. From the 721st Aerial Port Squadron, Senior Airman Michael Turner. Ladies and gentlemen, Warrior Flight. A big congratulations once again to all of our graduates. The Airman Leadership School's philosophy is to help mold airmen and guardians into better supervisors with a strong emphasis on leadership, academics, discipline, and teamwork. Though every graduate has met the objectives, there are those who went above and beyond the normal standards. Several students have excelled in all areas of the curriculum and will now be recognized for their individual achievements. The first award being presented today is the Commandant's Leadership Award. After being evaluated throughout the course, one student from each flight is nominated by their peers based purely on their leadership qualities. This award goes to the student who displayed outstanding leadership in the classroom and beyond. In order to determine the recipient of the award, interviews were conducted by the Commandant with each of the following nominees. Please give them a hearty congratulations as they are announced. From Defender Flight. From the 86th Maintenance Squadron, Senior Airman Stephen O. From Freedom Flight. From the 721st Mission Support Squadron, Sergeant Austin James. From Guardian Flight. From the 37th Airlift Squadron, Staff Sergeant Christopher Carmody. From Sentry Flight. 
from the 86th Operations Medical Readiness Squadron Staff Sergeant Chris Ann Shamble. From Warrior Flight. From the 496 Logistics Readiness Squadron Staff Sergeant Christopher Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant's Leadership Award recipient for Class 2021-3 is from the 721st Mission Support Squadron, Sergeant Austin James. The next award is the Academic Achievement Award. This award is given to the student in the class with the highest academic standing and denotes excellence as a scholar. Ladies and gentlemen, the Academic Achievement Award recipient for Class 2021-3 is from the 603rd Air Communication Squadron, Staff Sergeant Romaine Daly. The next award is the Distinguished Graduate Award. This award recognizes the students who have excelled in all areas of leadership, performance, and academic evaluations, placing them in the top 10% of the class. Seven students have earned this distinction. The first Distinguished Graduate is from the 86th Maintenance Squadron Senior Airman Stephen O. The second distinguished graduate is from the 86th Logistics Readiness Squadron Senior Airman Samantha Frisbee. The third distinguished graduate is from the 86th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron Senior Airman Ariel Hauser. The fourth distinguished graduate is from the 496 Logistics Readiness Squadron Staff Sergeant Christopher Singh. The fifth distinguished graduate is from the 37th Airlift Squadron, Staff Sergeant Christopher Carmody. The sixth distinguished graduate is from the 603rd Air Operations Center, Staff Sergeant Angela Tarr. The final distinguished graduate is from the 86th Operations Medical Readiness Squadron, Staff Sergeant Chris Ann Shamble. Today's final award is the John L. Levito Award. This award is named in honor of the lowest ranking airman in history to receive the Medal of Honor and is the highest level of recognition in enlisted professional military education. The student who receives this award is the most distinguished graduate who clearly excelled in all areas of leadership, performance, and academic evaluations. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ramstein Airman Leadership School is extremely proud to present the John L. Levito Honor Graduate for Class 2021-3. From the 86th Security Forces Squadron, Staff Sergeant Haley Krittner. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. And now, it is with great pleasure that I introduce the commander of the 435th Air Ground Operations Wing, Colonel Daniel C. Clayton, and 435th Air Ground Operations Wing Command Chief, Jeremy L. Untasir. ALS Class 2021-3, hello again. I'm Colonel Dan Clayton, Commander of the 435th Air Ground Operations Wing across Europe and the 435th Air Expeditionary Wing across Africa. Hey teammates, I'm Chief Master Sergeant Jeremy Untasir, the Wing Command Chief. First, congratulations on a job well done. Secondly, this ALS cadre has given you the tools and techniques you need to be successful as you continue on your leadership journey. Also, I want to share with you the things that we talked about in class, and I want to leave you with empathy and compassion. Today, now more than ever, we need that from our leaders as we look to the future to see how we can affect a positive outcome. Again, congratulations, class. Thanks, Chief. So as we discussed in our previous session together, it really is as simple as you take care of the airmen and they take care of the mission. As you do that, make sure that you're humble, approachable, credible, and that you adjust your coaching and mentoring styles to the different airmen that you're gonna lead. Another piece of advice we discussed was to slow down and think more. That's something that we share with group and squadron leadership uh, as well. Finally, thank you for your service, thank you for your sacrifice, and lead your airmen well. Thank you, Colonel Clayton and Command Chief Untasir. This concludes our virtual ceremony. Please take care of yourselves and one another as you lead the next generation of airmen and guardians. Thank you for viewing and have an amazing day.